Well, Instagram's been advertising to me, and I want to shout out some brands that I've been obsessively following and still have yet to buy something from. The first thing I'm going to talk about, I'm just going to jump right in because I think that I have like eight here I want to talk about, is Imperfects. Yeah. I'm obsessed with the idea of like old workwear being made new. So I think that Carhartt has a similar like vibe, but these yeah. have these like courier pants that are like double knee plated. They have a cool phone pocket in the front. They have this really cool cinching on the back that you can like, yeah. they, you know, you don't need a belt necessarily, but they're very workwear inspired. They've you got, love like, a good like the mechanic Hickory vibe. Stripe. I love a good mechanic yeah. vibe. Remember PNCO? Yeah, PNCO yeah. is very similar to this. Similar to this. But I think that I actually, like, you showed this to me, and at first I was like, no. But then, like, the more I look at them, the more I want. A vibe. A vibe. Like, like, this whole outfit, though, this ensemble of the, the jacket with the pants, yes. I just, I'm here for it. Which which ones are those? That's the Hickory. Uh, yeah, I know, Hickory that's like but these are the gold vintage thread. Vintage wash. Yeah, yeah, gold thread one. I Moving on to my next one that I love, it's called perspective flow and i just found them recently and i'm assuming it's because i've been on like complete japanese talk we're getting ready to yeah. go to japan so everybody all the like tips instagram knows i want to see those so it's the reels are just basically about animes i should watch and um what i should do while i'm in tokyo i think the one thing that's cool about this brand is it is like very japanese inspired but it's from la it's a japanese designer yeah. from la yeah. which i think is they just the style aspect is so incredible everything is so good i'm specifically obsessed with the pants and the tops obviously i guess that's two things you should be obsessed with so it feels like japanese streetwear which yeah. is where i'm like really vibing with it yeah these Iconic, a vibe. The white totally would wear that. Okay, also, I have to show you it on somebody yes. though. Like it is an absolute vibe. Oh yeah, no. What I've a vibe. Like they have this like crop. It reminds me of one of the dancers in Betty Who's Mama Say. There's a there's a top that it's almost like a tank has, top. I gotta find it here. Yeah, this is the. This is the square cut one that I was talking about. Oh, and yes. The one in Betty Who, it's like stitched all the way down. It's not, it's just tacked. It's yeah, just it's like tacked. tacked. It's not yeah. really even, like it's, it's open. It's very flowy. It's, and you wear nothing under it. I would totally try that with this. There's also like these, the the Ryu, that has like oh, yeah, this yeah. fun, almost different material cut into it. But it just feels like flowy, Three quarter inch sleeve, even though it does, it looks like it's supposed to be a short sleeve, like an oversized yeah. button up shirt with some different textures. But also, in their there. styling is so good on this they website. They do a really great job. <laughs> Let's look at their pants though, real quick. Yeah. Oh, I, the overalls. That's what I want to. That's what I want to look at. That's why I wanted to look at the bottoms because I knew you'd want to talk about those. Yeah. I am not a fan of overalls. I bought overalls and then I just did not like them. Yeah, but you wear them in the videos and you look so good. I just don't. I would never wear them yeah. out. Like it's not something I feel yeah. like necessarily like drawn to. They're not comfortable sure. to like wear. Sure. Out. Whereas these vibe, I'm all vibe about it. it. Look See, at these colors. This black, this black uh, this Honestly, overall set more for is you, like you know? so cool because you can tie it like this. And I think that this is such a neat way. It's not fit here. So when you tie it, there's a tie that goes around your waist that, that pulls it together. And then you have the two straps over the top and they tied two around the side and one over the top. And I just love how that looks. I love that for you. It's just not a vibe for me, which yeah, is totally fine. fine. I love that. Yeah. They've got shorts, long pants, flowy, like harem-y pants. I just am, a, it's a vibe. Cool. All right, let's move on, sorry. All right. So let's go next is um, one that's been advertised to me a lot, a lot is Marine Layer. I've had friends buy from this company. I've never personally bought from this company, but I've been really obsessed with how they've been marketing. Yeah. So I wanted to talk about them and it feels retro and cool. I love this, this sweater, it's a raglan. Yes. Cut. I'm a huge fan of Raglan, and I like the like the color pop on the outside. I love a minimal moment. You're, you know, no shade, no tea. No shade, love but that. a little shade. But then like this, I love this. Okay, it's a little minimal. It's a little, it's a little I, basic. I like it, yeah. A little basic, a little minimal. A little basic mode. Yeah. Let's move on. Next, okay. We're gonna move on to nice laundry. <laughs> nice laundry does. I've followed nice laundry for a long time. I love everything in this shop. They do like lounge gym shorts. Like they are not advertising as an athletic brand at all and they're focused on like are you comfy at home yeah. and i i respect that i respect that the gym market saturated and completely like overwhelmed the lounge market 
You don't have as many yeah. options. I think it's, the L's have a really cool, like a four inch short for short kings like ourselves that need a little bit shorter. A little shorter length. inseam. They started with a short four inch inseam yeah. as more of a house boxer. They wanted it to be a real short. But a house boxer. But for like the house. That's where I first saw them advertised. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. okay. They do have this like, these this new underwear pack that they just launched that has like the blue, the, red, and green stripe. And I love the fabric that they use. Yeah. All right, next we're gonna, I, I wanna talk about Aviator Nation, which is one that advertised me a long time ago and it hasn't recently but I had to pull it up for this video because I love this brand. But I gotta find, I gotta find that jumpsuit because yeah. I cannot, like I literally just Googled it so I know they have them still available. Here it is. You found it? I mean, it's $1,200. It's like yes, a snowsuit. It's a snowsuit. I like their sweats. I think they have really cool, like I would dance in these, they're like vintage. Oh, that's true. And they're, they're vibing. You can get different colors, stripes. That's like, true. It's just a good vibe. And then they look really comfortable. But again, I love a sweatpants. Oh. We're going to Steady Hands. Oh, I did. Here it is. <gasps> I love Steady this Hands brand. just recently started advertising to me and I became obsessed. obsessed. So. Um, they've got anime, they've got different products like Cardi oh, Cardigan Week happened. Pants, button down t-shirts. Hoodies. And a lot of them look that. really cool and high quality. They're not just like your typical print on right stuff. Oh, bro. They have Hamtaro. I haven't thought about Hamtaro in so I long. I love Hamtaro. I guess before I go to jewelry, I'm gonna go back to Perspective Flow because I wanted to, I forgot to show the shoes and hats. They have these little crown hats that I think are such a vibe. Dude. I showed Mariah this and she was like, I don't know if I'd get into it, but more for you, I guess. And I was like, <laughs> They're so fun! They're so fun! I love them. Love Did them. you see these? Yes. The skull hoodie. Uh, you mean the puffer coats? Yeah, it's yeah. like a skull puffer coat. Those are so cool. I like the bags, the skull bags. They literally, yeah. the model that holds them, it makes it look like it's an actual duffel bag. Like, oh, really? It's huge. Look at it. Oh, my. It's huge. These shoes Russian. look like a rib cage. Like, like, the back is the spine, but then the side rapes out as like this, like, rib cage. I love a high top moment. You know me. Okay, I love, okay, I love my blazers. We know. Uh, but these with the smiley face, they're all oh, a yeah. skull. So it's the, the teeth, the nose, oh, and the eyes. that's cool. And then the smile is at the top. And there's the boat, the rope belt. belt. Yeah. All right, moving on. One of my favorites I've been kind of fixated on recently. Fixated? Fixated. I've been fixated on recently. And it's called Clocks and Colors. Uh, they have a hold fast ring, which obviously- This is what I, I'm on right now. I love the hold fast ring. Oof. And I've seen multiple people wear that since I've noticed it on this website, <laughs> on TikTok, and I've been like, oh, It is a pirate treasure map ring, yeah, I and that. I love it. I really just like the vibe. I always, when I'm with my nephews and nieces, we draw pirate ship maps. And we always go and we try to like act them out after we're done drawing them. And so when I saw this ring, I said, this is, it, this is like my ring, I need this ring. But I'm terrified because I, if you've seen my last video, I have a terrible time sizing my fingers to get over my knobby knuckles and not to float around, just fling around. And if this is more of a signet style, which it is, it's harder for it to stay upright because of my stupid, small, knobby <laughs> fingers. This one, the koi fish. Yeah. I love the koi fish ring. It's big, but it's still just even all the way around. And you can really see there's two koi fish on each side. I, I, like I that love that. And I love the texturing on it. I love it. Moving on to my one of my favorites that I've also found recently via Instagram is Crafted London. Agreed. If you need a really solid necklace that you're gonna wear every day, this is the yeah. place you'd go. They've got things from pendant necklaces to just regular chains. They've got rope. They've got a canal chain. They're actually, I'm looking a lot now, of Cubans. As I'm looking at their prices now, they're actually not poorly priced. No, I think that they're actually very affordable. I think they're very affordable. Within affordable. the market. I think maybe we thought they were expensive at the beginning because that was the first place we were kind of looking. Yeah. And then we got bit. used to it. <laughs> we got used to the prices. Uh, honestly, they have some things like affordable. they've got, got like some pendant ones I really like with rope. They've got the wing with yeah, rope that's I really cool. like. Um, they've got different sizes of Cubans, which we got a 10 millimeter Cuban. Each of us did. And I really wish I would have gone with a seven or an eight. Mm -hmm. Even a five for more of a daily driver. They do have here this four millimeter Cuban, which I really like. See, that's what I'm talking about. Um, it's just a nice basic, but I like to layer that type of a Cuban with even like... Connell? Connell? These. Oh, more of a thin. A thinner. And then you just pair them together. That's kind of the yeah. video I had planned for today. Yeah. If you have any other brands you think I should check out, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear about new things and new places to shop. We'll see you in another video real soon. Don't die. Okay, bye.